Do you guys know what today is? Because if not, I'm about to tell you because I'm so excited. Today we have a makeup organization video. I love makeup organization. I love makeup. I love organization. Separately, they are great things, but together, they are undefeatable. I love it so much. So today, we are going to be organizing and sorting through all of the makeup that I got when I was in South Florida and went to the Ofer factory and they just showered us with gifts. <laughs> so I have been using these products over the last few weeks ever since I got back. Some stuff is still in the box. Some stuff I like saved the box. It, it, it's a whole thing you'll see in just a second, but it's kind of a little bit of a nightmare because <laughs> It's everywhere. So uh, we're gonna organize and sort through the products. I'll do some swatches for you and I'm just really excited. And also I did this makeup for a video. I revisited my 2021 summer favorites. This is a full face of my 2021 summer favorites. And I will go ahead and say that 2021 summer page did not do me wrong. She knew what she was talking about and all of these products are still fantastic. So I'll have that video linked down below in case you guys want to go watch it. Now let's get into the organization. By the way, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I never say that. Don't forget to subscribe to... I need to... I need to just... Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. One last thing before I show you guys the mess, I have a very important question. Is this blue or green? Please comment down below a green heart if you would call this green and a blue heart if you would call this blue. I understand that it's kind of a blue green or a green blue, but what if, if it came down to it, what would you call this? Blue or green? Comment down below in the form of a heart. Now let's get into the organization. So here's all of the product that I received while at the Ofra facility. Um, most of this stuff I got in person. I actually did receive a box of PR with all of the Project Influencer bundles. That's in here as well. And then I also received the uh, Caribbean Gl Glitz palette, which was a collaboration with Wahida. And that is in here as well. <laughs> But we've got some empty boxes, some, you know, little prepackaged items. So we're going to remove everything from the packaging aside from anything that I plan on giving away. Um, and then we will just kind of go from there.
So here is all of the makeup and skincare products that I have. I organized everything and I'd say it looks pretty. These bags are empty. These are what was carrying some of this product. So the way I have it organized is I have the PR packages still intact. So back there is a Samantha March and Oprah collaboration collection and then over here we have the ride or die collection with all the products still inside so i haven't gone through those yet but as far as everything else goes i have skincare products over here for the most part i have some eyeshadow palettes more skincare and setting spray oh i forgot about these two random lip products let me organize those then we have some primers, this is a cleanser, a little powder, some odd lip components, so like non, the non, these ones. <laughs> There's a round lip gloss tube and then these little minis. I have all of my powder compacts, most of these are highlighters, I think there might be a powder and potentially a blush in here. We'll have to go through them and see. I have the palettes here and then the mascara here. I have all of the lip glosses here and then all of the liquid lipsticks here. So here's just another little overview of everything. I love how it all looks. I did pull a few products that I know I'm going to save for future giveaways and stuff, stuff that I have duplicates of and whatnot, but I'm so excited so let me show you guys um, if you guys want to like see the haul of all of this I'll have that video linked down below I'll also have my vlog where I got to go shopping at Ofra and um, you know tour the factory all of that so if you guys want to see that both videos will be linked down below so I figured I'd give you guys an update on some of the products that I've been using. So um, I haven't ever really used any of Ofra skincare, but they actually have a lot of skincare products and a lot of really good skincare products. So um, over here I have some moisturizers. We have the oil-free moisturizer. This one's really nice if you have oily skin. And then the peptide moisturizer. I used this prior to makeup application. I put this on and then I did like primer, foundation, all of that. And I really loved the way that it looked on my skin. I have this brightening mask here, which I also used and loved. Um, the beautifying eye lotion is really nice. This is something that you can like let sit on your skin so just wet a few cotton pads rest them on your eyes and like lay down for a few minutes and it's really relaxing it feels great it has good skincare benefits this is the fruit acid lotion i haven't tried this yet but i'm really excited to it's for oil balancing and it helps for breakouts and if you guys didn't know i have very acne prone skin this is something that i have been loving this is a standout product for me this is the foaming vitamin c cleanser as you can see, <laughs> this was full when I got it, and I have only had this for a short amount of time, and I have been using this nonstop. It's so good. It smells amazing, and it says, refreshing and gentle cleanser that removes dirt, oil, and leftover makeup. I like using this after going in with a cleansing balm, and it's a fabulous experience. I would absolutely recommend that. I also have a full size here that they gifted to me, which I am so happy about because... This is going to be gone soon, I can already tell. <laughs> then I have some of these uh, potted products back here. So this for one on top is the Blemish Treatment Cream. I've been using this and it's really good, okay? It smells a little interesting. I feel like it might have sulfur or something in it. It smells like an acne product. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, if you've used acne products before, you probably know what I'm saying. It doesn't smell bad, it just, it does have... A scent of something and I'm thinking it's sulfur I could be wrong but um, it feels so good I feel like it really dries out my breakouts without drying out my skin which is huge because I do have more oily skin and when my skin is feeling like it's dry it overproduces oil even more so I love this I put it on at night wash it off in the morning and you can use it as a spot treatment um, I pretty much put it over the majority of my face where I have breakouts and acne which is like mostly around my mouth and chin and like kind of like my cheek area sometimes even on my forehead but 
that stuff is really good and then below that we have the volcanic clarifying mask which i haven't used yet but i'm really excited to try it both of these products right here are really nice we have the collagen serum and the eye and lip cream i have been enjoying both of those this right here you guys the makeup fixer 10 out of 10 i love this setting spray they sell these in a full size this is like a mini so they sell a trio which i would recommend because you get to try the original which is this pink one and then there is a rose one which is the purple and then a mattifying one which is really cool because it has like a little bit of a glow in it when you shake it up you can kind of see the glow is at the bottom but when you shake it up it has this glow to it and it allows you to still have nice healthy looking skin while also mattifying so um these are really cool i love the original it's so good and the full size is a super good value they were telling me how good of a value it was and it's pretty much like one of the cheapest per ounce that you can get and it's it's great so i definitely recommend that they have these fun little eyeshadow palettes which i have been a huge fan of in the past i have one i think it's oh, what is it called sweet dreams or something like that it's so good um let me let me see if i can find it actually so this is sweet dreams i previously had this palette so this is the one that i you know i, I didn't get this on the trip but they have these signature palettes where they theme these little palettes around their signature highlighters. I just tried to tap this to focus it, <laughs> but I have to do that on the back of my camera. Um, but this one is centered around Pillow Talk. So that center shade is their Pillow Talk highlighter, and then they theme the palette based on that highlighter. So they have a bunch of these. This one is one that I previously have had and loved. But they have a ton of them so i got some new ones here we have so many liquid lipstick shades just based on looking at these these two i feel like these are gonna be my favorites these are the shades nude potion and angelus so those look like the two like pinky nude colors at least from what i have here but we have some really pretty red tones some deeper like fall kind of colors we have black white this is a fun color. Lots of really pretty colors. I'll swatch these two though so that you can see those because like I said, I think these are going to be my favorite. Here are some swatches. So that top one is Nude Potion. Here, I'll hold it this way. Nude Potion is on top. Angelus is in the middle. And then this bottom shade is the color that I'm wearing on my lips in today's video. It's the MAC lipstick in the shade Blankety. That's like my go-to. And these other two colors are definitely in that same kind of color family. So I have a feeling these are going to be great. I do love the Ofra Liquid Lipstick Formula. And I also love their lip glosses. These lip glosses, they're incredible. They have so many colors and the only duplicate I have is Truffle and that's because it was in one of the bundles that I received as PR and I also had grabbed one at the store and I didn't open up my bundles until after I got back home. So um, I kind of messed up there and I got to, but that's okay because it's a gorgeous gloss. But some of these are just so pretty. Like this one right here is called BRB and it's like a glittery purpley lavender shade. I really hope that this will translate on camera. Like it's even prettier in person, but you can see how glittery it is. It's gorgeous and the color and then look at how fun this one is. It's like a sheer orange with some sparkle in there. I just, I love it. There's so many fun colors. Definitely check out these lip glosses. The formula is great. They have one in Rodeo Drive. I think this one is, yeah, this one's in Rodeo Drive. I don't know if they sell it as a single, but it's definitely in one of their bundles that they have. And I'll have a, like, Printing, I'll try to find all of these products and link them down below or at least list them so that you guys can search them on the website and find them that way and you guys can use code PAGE for 20% off. I have a discount code with them. Um, no pressure at all. That is an affiliate code so I do make a commission if you decide to use it but it doesn't make it any more expensive for you or anything. Um, it just, you know, shows me some support which I greatly appreciate. 
Um, so yeah, we have those. Then we have this loose powder, which everyone knows about Ofra's highlighters, I feel like. Um, but I didn't even know that they had loose powder. And I love loose powder. I love powder in general. This one is the Derma Mineral Loose Powder. And it's the oil control one. So I'm excited to give that a try. We have a few primers. I used the Cool as a Cucumber one. And it was really nice. Um, we have these other lippies like I mentioned. Let's go through these compacts and then I'll show you the palettes. And then I also have the HD Volumizing Mascara, which I'll go ahead and show you what the wand looks like. Um, I uh, saw that this went viral on TikTok, which is so cool. So here's the wand. Um, it's a silicone brush. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Um, but it's really nice. I have been using this a lot. I put it in my everyday makeup drawer actually because I was like, wow, this is really good. So <laughs> if you guys are looking for a new mascara, definitely check this one out, the HD Volumizing Mascara. Let me go ahead and show you the palettes and then we will look through the compacts and then I'll show you guys what's in the PR packages because those are really fun. So this first one is Allie's collab with Ofra. I had her sign my palette which I thought was so cool. Um, I got to go to Ofra because of her. Uh, we went to celebrate the launch of her Project Influencer collab with them. So here's what that palette looks like. It's so pretty. It's a great summer palette and it's also really good for transitioning into fall because you have this whole entire row here that's going to be so pretty in the fall um and just everything is beautiful i i'm obsessed with it ali did a great job picking out the colors for that palette next we have this palette which is the hot mess mama of four palette and this one is definitely more my like daily kind of colors really pretty mauvey tones um i love the all of the lights highlighter in here that was also part of ali's bundle you get two blushes in here and then these six eyeshadows which are just so pretty i really want to use this soon for a makeup look then we have this blush palette which was in collaboration with glam with susan and this has six beautiful blushes if you guys know me you know i love blush and looking at this just makes me feel good <laughs> i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because it's pink and peach and bright and fun or if it's blush but seeing that just gives me all the good vibes here we have um the wajita palette this is the caribbean glitz palette so pretty i love the jewel tones in here i think those are gorgeous and then this is actually just another one of Allie's palettes this is one that i've used i used this on live when we went live with ofra and i also use have been using this one ever since this one has the eight eyeshadows you get these two which are so freaking pretty um i think this one is called i always forget y2k yeah y2k is right here and rhinestone, whoops <laughs> rhinestone is here let me swatch these for you like look at these shimmers they are so pretty and then you have a nice big matte brown here which is great because everybody needs a matte brown in their life so <laughs> um the palettes are stunning i am obsessed now let's look at the highlighters which ofra probably has my all-time favorite highlighter formula if i'm being completely honest it, it's definitely in my top like two to three but i love their highlighters they have so many shades so let me open these up and show you guys the ones that i got while i was down there so i figured i would just show you a few at a time so this first one here is their pressed matte powder it's the oil control one let's see if this will focus oil control pet press powder i used this once so far and i really liked it um it doesn't have any white cast or anything and i did a really good job making my makeup stay matte for a really long time so i'm going to continue trying that out but i did really like it my first go this is called everglow this is so pretty this is a nikki tutorials collab and i love the three like pan product i think it's so stunning here we have milk and cookies this is one of my all-time favorite shades i love this so much this is a brand new fresh one which 
I'm so excited to have a backup of. This is Beverly Hills. This one has five different colors. This is one of their most iconic shades. I see this and I just, I don't know. It gives me OG Ofra vibes, which I love. Then over here we have Star Island, which is another one of my favorites. I love this one so much. This one is Rodeo Drive, a classic. If you guys don't own Rodeo Drive, you need it. It's so good. Also, please ignore my nails. They look absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, and then this one here is called Bali. This one is new to me. I have never seen this one um, until I went to the factory and it looks beautiful. Like, I hope you can see that golden sparkle that it has. It's so pretty. So those are some of the highlighters. I have four more compacts to show you. Next up we have the California Dream Triangle. I had never seen this product either until I was in the factory and I was like, oh my god, that's beautiful. That's coming home with me. I love it. So I grabbed that. This is Pillow Talk. This is the one that was in the Sweet Dreams palette that I showed you, but this is the full size. This one is called All of the Lights. This I think is a Kathleen Lights collab. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Maybe I, I might be lying. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is all of the lights. This is the one that's from Allie's bundle. I love that you get these four shades. They're so pretty. I just, I love it. And then this one here is called Covent Garden. Yeah, Covent Garden. This was another one that I hadn't seen until I was at the factory and I was like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Again, couldn't leave it because I just am obsessed with highlighter and anything that's like remotely pink peach or like lavender. <laughs> I, I need it. If I see it, I'm like, oh my god, that is a must. So Ofra was insanely gr generous and gifted literally all of this to me. I did purchase um, Allie's bundle, but they also gifted me a few of those as well. Um, but everything else was gifted to me, which I am just so incredibly thankful. Like, they treated us so well when we were down there, and I know I said that a million times in my other videos, but I'm just so excited. So, now let's take a peek at the um, collabs, or the PR boxes. So, this one is a by Samantha March collaboration, and Let's go ahead and take a peek at what's in here. Oops, it's so pretty. Samantha looking gorgeous. So in here we have three products. So we have Start Inspired, which is so pretty. This looks almost like Star Island and Pillow Talk maybe, but like in, you know, split up differently. So gorgeous. Then we have this, which is called Chiclet. This is a what is this? A blush duo? A blush duo. So we have a matte side and then a shimmery side. So you can use that as like a blush topper. And then we have River, which is a bronzer duo. So you have a matte bronzer. Sorry if you could see my, <laughs> my empty spin. Um, this is a bronzer duo. You have the matte and the shimmery side. That's beautiful. I love all of these products. And then we have a lip duo here. So we have Story and Millie, the lip gloss and the liquid lipstick. It would be helpful if I was showing you guys what I was talking about. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is the Samantha March collab. I think this was her, f her first, like, official collab. I know she did like Project Influencer, um, but I think this was the first one and then the Life's a Draft one was the second one, which I think I did a video on that when it came out and that was a gorgeous collection. I love that palette. It's like mauve -y. If you like kind of like mauve purpley tones, I would definitely check out the Life's a Draft palette. And then we have the Ride or Die package, which I'm probably gonna have to rearrange some stuff to pull that down so just give me one second so here we have the ride or die package which is so pretty let's see how do we open this oh my goodness look at how gorgeous oh boy <laughs> I'm like this is a balancing act so there's three sets in here and I believe these are the blush and bronzer duos so here's an example of the 
little set right here so um we have this which is a liquid blush in the shade authentic and it's so pretty and then here is the uh, uh blush and bronzer duo or the blush -zer, i think is the the combination of the word um so you have this one is called crew and this one is so pretty i actually used this recently and i loved it i've had these for a while um the a few of these but um this package is just so stunning but anyway um i used this recently the peachy blush 10 out of 10 it has like the slightest little bit of a sparkle in there and it's so natural and pretty I'm trying to get up close so that you guys can see it but it's so beautiful and the bronzer is a stunning shade as well i love that they did this so um there's three different colorways and i am just so thankful for literally everything that i was gifted poncho said he wanted to make an appearance he said hey everybody you're such a good boy poncho you know that you have so many people that love you oh yes so many people want to see you more on the channel oh that was a good yawn that was a good yawn mister that's my man this is my man besides jarvis he's my other man <laughs> oh pon pon he loves hanging out with me <laughs> when i'm in my makeup room he's usually laying right here um but i guess he decided to come over and say hello i think he's being shy now so that's my Oprah organization video for you guys. I'm about to do a makeup room clean with me. And then once I do that, I'll be able to organize these products into my actual makeup drawers, which I know a lot of you will be excited to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. This was so much fun. I was needing to do this because everything was just sitting in bags, waiting to be used. Stuff was taken out of the box and I, it was just, it was a mess as you guys saw. But Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.